Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the last lecture, we learned about Lampasif coding and uh, its method of uh, encoding. Now we are going to uh, go through an another example of Lampasif encoding uh, with letters. In the previous example, we used uh, bits or one zeros to explain the method of encoding. Now we are going to use letters instead of one and zeros. It is called <coughs> LZ77 because <coughs> this algorithm was proposed by Lempel and Ziff in a year in a paper in 1977. The encoder reads or parses the letters as they are received. The encoder uses some memory space called buffer to store the new letter or group of letters and call it dictionary. When the first letter arrives at that time, the buffer or dictionary is empty and contains no letters in it. The parser reads the first letter, searches the dictionary buffer for that letter in, in it and finds no match. So it adds this first letter in the dictionary and assign it an index or sequence number that is 1 for the first letter. At the time it outputs that first letter with index number and length of the letter found in the dictionary but for the first letter it is always zero because the dictionary is empty so the form of output is like this index number of the letter or combination of letters found in the dictionary comma length of the letter or combination of letters found in the dictionary comma new letter <coughs> for example input letters are a b b c then output for A is 0, 0, 0, A, for B is 0, 0, B, and for B, C, 2, 1, C. As you can see over here, for A it is 0, 0, A, because uh, the when it search the this A is received, when this A is received, the parser searches in the dictionary to find if there is any other any uh, letter a in the dictionary and it finds there is no letter so and it also there is no other letter as associated or grouped with this a so this index uh, is uh, zero zero because z uh, and its length is also zero because there is no other uh, letter in the dictionary to be uh, uh, reference to. For B, the same thing, no other letter is associated or grouped with B and B is also not in the dictionary, so 0 is the index number, it means there is uh, no value to be searched in the in dictionary and of course the length is 0 as well. After reading B and output it as 0, 0, B, B is added in the dictionary at index number 2. What happens is that when this uh, 0, 0, B has been transmitted, this B is added into the dictionary at index number 2. The reason it is in added at index number 2 is that at index number 1, A is already added. After reading first B, when reader again reads B, it searches for B in the dictionary and finds B at the index at index number 2. Then it reads next letter and finds it as a new letter, so it uh, outputs BC with the index number and length of B with C in form of 2, 1, C. <coughs> now, what happens is that since this b, this b has been added into the dictionary, when this B is... Uh, is uh, uh, when encoder receives this B, letter B, so first it searches for this B in the dictionary and it finds it at index number 2. So it knows that this B is already in the index number 2. After that, it this C is received. This, uh, when encoder searches for this C or the combination of this B, C in the uh, dictionary, it finds no such gr uh, phrase in the dictionary. So what it does that it outputs this BC as this B instead of transmitting this B it s transmits it reference number that is index number 2 with its length 1 and it group it with C so this BC is uh, transmitted like this uh, this 2 comma 1 <coughs> is simply uh, this 2 comma 1 is simply uh, referencing to this B in the dictionary and it is grouped with this C 
and after that this BC is added into the dictionary as well. Now suppose the input string is this one and uh, so what happens is that first this A is received. When this A is received as we have I have uh, explained it in the previous uh, slide how this 0 comma 0 comma A is output and after uh, get, uh, outputting A in th this way this A is added into the dictionary at index number 1 and its length is also defined as 1. After that B is added into the dictionary it is output like this and uh, it's in a stored at index number 2 and its length is defined is 1 because it is only one letter over here. After that BC is received BC in BC this B is referenced instead of transmitting this B its reference is uh, transmitted, uh, transmitted and what's its reference? Its reference is index number 2 and length 1 so this this is index number and this is length of the B and this is concatenated with C and after th that this BC is added into the dictionary as well at, as, uh, at index number 3 and uh, its length is defined 2 because there are two letters B and C so its length is 2. Then BCA is uh, received this BC is already in the dictionary at index number 3 its length is 2 so this in the index number of BC and its length 2 is concatenated with this new letter A so a new phrase is formed that is BCA it is also added into the dictionary at index number 4 and uh, with the line, uh, length defined as 3 so it keeps going on like this and so the whole this string is output in the same fashion so 18 letters are compressed into 7 tuples now do decoding. Decoding is actually the reverse of the encoding. It's very much similar. When this tuple is received 0, 0, 0, A, the 0, 0 indicates that it does, uh, the decoder doesn't need to search in the into the dictionary because there is no reference for, uh, uh, there is no uh, letter over here to be uh, referenced into the dictionary. It will out output simply A and it will add this A into the dictionary at index number 1 as well. After that it will receive B, it again the 0, 0 indicates no letter it is concatenated with B's, this B, this B is uh, decoded and this B is added into the dictionary at index number 2 as well. After that this 2 comma 1 comma C is received, this 2 comma 1 indicates that look into the dictionary at index number 2 with having the letter is having the length 1. So it goes into its dictionary at, at the dictionary of the decoder and look at there and it finds B over there so it concatenates B with C and decodes it as BC and adds this BC into the dictionary uh, as well at index number 3. After that this 3, two, three comma 2 comma A is received this 3 indicates that look into the dictionary at index number 3 it goes into the dictionary looks at uh, the index number 3 it finds BC over there and it concatenates this BC with A and BCA is output and it is added into the dictionary as at uh, B, uh, uh, at uh, this BC is added into the di into the dictionary at index number 4 as well so it keeps going on like this and this whole uh, received tuples are decoded the in the same manner.